This is a heartbreaking story that many families fear of underfunding and understaffing in our public education institutions. Premier, what steps will your government take so that what happened to Landon never happens again? Emotions running high during question period at Queen's Park as the NDP demand answers in the death of 16-year-old Landon Ferris. The corner of Ontario and the school board have launched an investigation into this incident, into this tragedy, and I know all parties will work together to ensure this tragedy does not happen again. Mwah. How old are you? 11. 16. You're 16. The grade 10 student with special needs had a rare type of epilepsy that causes seizures and couldn't be left alone. But it's alleged that he was unattended on May 14th when he was found unresponsive in a sensory room at his high school in Trenton. I think the education system sadly failed Landon. While investigations are underway, opposition leaders say the Ford government has chronically underfunded the education system, hurting kids with special needs. I've been thinking about the families, the many, many families of kids with special needs that have come to this place, come to Queen's Park over and over and over again and warned that something terrible is going to happen. It's terrible. It makes me really angry. That anger is widespread with parents honoring Landon at a rally this weekend for more special education funding. That kid had a future. The demands for more funding come as a new report finds 46% of high schools across Ontario have reported a shortage of educational assistance every day, prompting some principals to recommend special needs students stay home altogether. That is unacceptable and wrong. The government should just step up and properly fund educational assistance and support staff in schools. We've increased special education funding and this year funding is up uh, roughly $117 million more than last year with 3,500 additional EAs hired. I know there's more work to do, but I look forward to doing it together. What did you think of the education minister's response today? Again, very inadequate and not a lot of empathy. This is a, a minister that should be investing in education. Where are the teachers? Where are the special education teachers? Advocacy groups tell us this incident also reinforces the need for provincial oversight of school boards. There needs to be mandatory enforced provincial rules on when and how these isolation or sensory rooms are used. And this is just one horrific example uh, of the kind of circumstances that, that cry out for proper provincial regulation. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.